My name is Klaus Reinhardt Hauptmann, Luftwaffe Aeronautical Engineer, and I am here to tell you about the day I understood Germany had already lost the war, not on some distant battlefield, not in a grand strategy meeting, but in a quiet hangar in occupied France, summer of 1943, standing before an American P-47 Thunderbolt we had captured. They ordered us to examine it, to find its weaknesses, to discover how we could defeat it. So we opened the engine cowling, and what we saw changed everything. The Pratt & Whitney R-2800 double wasp, 18 cylinders, 2,000 horsepower, but that's not what broke us. German engines matched that power. What destroyed us was the precision, the standardization, the industrial perfection of every single component. These parts weren't handcrafted by master mechanics like ours were. They were stamped out on assembly lines, mass-produced by the tens of thousands. I ran my fingers along those cylinders, and I knew each one was identical, perfectly machined interchangeable. Any cylinder fit any engine. Any piston matched any bore. In Germany, even our finest engines required skilled craftsmen to hand fit each component. No two were truly identical, beautiful, unique, and completely unsustainable for total war. We spent two weeks analyzing that engine, disassembled every bolt, every valve, every bearing, and then we did something that proved our worst fears. We reassembled it without replacing a single part, without adjustments, without the custom fitting that German engines always required. And it started. First try, ran perfectly. That's when the mathematics became unavoidable. America was producing 50,000 aircraft engines per year. We were producing 8,000. For every engine we painstakingly crafted, they stamped out six. The quality gap was negligible. The quantity gap was insurmountable. I wrote a 27-page report, detailed, clinical, devastating. My conclusion was simple. Germany cannot win a war of industrial attrition against the United States. I recommended immediate armistice. The report reached Reichsmarschall Goering. He read it, and he buried it, because the truth it contained was too dangerous to admit. We were scattered to different units, forbidden to speak of what we'd learned. And Germany kept fighting for two more years, sacrificing hundreds of thousands of lives in a war already decided. The war wasn't lost in the skies. It was lost in the factories of Detroit, and we knew it in 1943.